So I'll come back. I finished the last video with the sign up functionality in place. Next, it's time to allow the user to actually sign in and to log out then. So I want to do this. So I will just copy the code from my sign up view here and paste it into the sign in page because it's pretty similar. We still need email and password for all of that. I will change the route to user.signin even though I haven't created this route yet. And what I also want to do here is to change this to sign in as well as this button here. So with that, my sign in page looks, looks okay so far. And the next step is to go to the routes PHP file and create the appropriate routes. Now we'll just copy the sign up routes here since, well, I can easily adjust them to handle the sign in case. So load the sign up page here with the, uh, oops, that was the wrong one. Load it here with the get sign in um, action, load the sign in page with the get sign in page and here submit it. Of course, also adjust the route names. So that's fine. And then the user controller, I will create two new functions. I'll create the get sign in function here, which will basically just return me the sign in view. So user dot sign in is the view I want to return, of course, referring to this user sign in dot blade dot PHP file here. And then the next is the post sign in uh, function here, which will take a request object since it is a post request. And here I first also want to validate. However, I'm of course not validating if this email address is unique because it will always or it will oftentimes be if someone tries to sign in because he already created a user, right? But I'll validate the remaining data here. And theoretically, I could also leave out the validation because I am checking if the provided credentials match my um, user credentials in the database anyways. So invalid data would never be a problem here, but I still want to provide nice error messages in the case of invalid data to the user. So I'll leave it here, but you could leave it out theoretically. Next, I want to use Laravel's authentication facade to try to log in the user. So I will import this facade here, use off allows me to do this. And then I simply run off attempt and I want to pass the credentials here. So I will pass an array where I have the email address with the provided email address and the request and the password referring to the, of course, the password provided in the request. So this will try to lock the user in and it will be placed in an if block here to check if this is successful. If this is successful, I will return a redirection to the profile route, which I also still have to set up. And otherwise I will return a redirect back. So in this case, validation or login, signing in, user in would fail. And as shown in previous videos, of course, you could add error messages here and output them in the views. But here I, I want to focus on the core logic for now. So that's why I'm doing it this way. And with that, I'm trying to lock the user in. We'll see if that is successful. And in case you are wondering, how does Laravel know that, well, what the password is and so on. Well, basically because we name it password here and therefore if we were to rename this in our database table and we would not work with the default password term Laravel is expecting, we would have to tell the auth facade uh, or the Laravel that we're using a different naming convention. But here I'm using password, so this is all fine. And with that, I will go back to my sign in page I already adjusted this route, so I will go to my header then. Make sure that I hook this route here up. So this should lead to user sign in. And I also want to load the profile page. So I will copy this just to have the skeleton 
get rid of all this form related code here and just output user profile here so that we can see that this works. I'll also create the appropriate route in the routes.php file. So route get, let's say user slash profile. And this should use the user controller and then the get profile action, which I also have to create. And I'll name this user.profile. So in the user controller, I'm creating one final route for now or one final action, the get profile, profile action here, which simply should return me a view, namely the user profile view, which I just filled with some life here in the user folder. So with all that in place, I'm going to reload this page. I head over to the sign in page and I try to sign the user in. And since I get to the user profile, this looks pretty good. However, I'm currently not protecting this route. I could have accessed it without being logged in. And I don't have any log out functionality in place. So I'll take care about this in the next video. See you there. Bye.